Hey everyone, it's your boy Main VR. Just uh, just wanted to touch base with everybody. Uh, been kind of slow with videos, but the girlfriend went out uh, this week. She, she's at the country concert music with Girls Night Out. So I figured I'll be home, on a little drop a video, and talk about some of the things that I've seen. Okay? Now, one of the things that uh, seems to be on the news right now, there's two th issues that I want to talk about. All right? First is that HTC is increasing their price in England on the on the vibe, um, which I'm not too sure I understand. I know it's it's all business, and I'm not sure too sure what's the currency going on right now over there after um, Brexit. But it, it seems a little optimistic, you know. What I mean, like like they're taking advantage of of England. It, it's almost like you know, and it's I, I, it's, I don't want to say a con a company should bite the bullet and eat the cost on on a product because they're in, in it to make money and I totally understand that but I'm pretty sure um, the British you know pound is growing back you know what I mean yes they jumped out of um, they jumped out of the EU but I'm put their economy it I mean it's already bouncing back and none of the assets that they own none of the business that they are and none of them all collapse all of a sudden they're just going to be talking different trade deals and to me it just kind of seems that none of that is has gone through just yet so there's really no it's only change on paper and yet the the british are being um i would i want to say taken advantage of by by atc right now um it's it's a, a 70 pound increase on the cost um, hold on, let me see right here. I'm gonna jump on my thing and, and give you guys the actual thing. And then, and what I'll do is also I'll link to the to the article here on uploaded VR so you guys can check it out. But um, where did I see that? I know they definitely said it was a 70 pound increase in it, which. To me, it, it, I mean, like, VR is expensive enough already. You know what I mean? It's, it's, they're gonna, ACC, I'm thinking, they're, I'm thinking they're, they're feeling a little cocky right now. You know, they, they're thinking their headset has won it all, you know, because you, you have this rabid fan base that is like, you know, room scale is it. So they, they're feeling that they're at the top of the game right now. And so they're figuring they can pretty much, it looks like they feel like they can do whatever they want to do. Um, we will see how this all pans out. It all depends on what, um, if Oculus follows suits and increase, or will they maintain their price? Because if they maintain their price, then I think that's going to put a lot of pressure on HTC to maybe back down from this. So let's hope that that's what Oculus does, because I don't think it's right for them to do this. And, and um, PlayStation, I don't think they're, we'll also wait and see if they increase their, the cost of the PlayStation VR over there in, in Britain too, which I hope they don't. I hope Oculus and PlayStation hold the fort and don't increase their prices. And that way it gives, um, makes ATC, you know, come back down because what we need is, is for the prices to be coming down in VR, not going up, especially not from the top um, HD, you know, HMD out there, you know what I mean? I would admit, even though I'm an Oculus owner right here, I would admit that um, the HTC Vive is the number one HMD out there right now. You know what I mean? It is the the HMD that is now synonymous with, uh, with VR. Um, well, maybe maybe the gear but the gear when we're talking high-end vr hcc is the is the the um the one that's no moon known for premier vr all right now another um article which is just on my own little thing is that um minecraft is coming to oculus soon um i don't know anything about Minecraft. I've never played it. I mean, I know a lot about it, but I've never played it, so I don't know how to do it. And if some of you people are probably going, "What? Never played Minecraft?" Yes, I have never played 
Minecraft. Um, this is going to be my very first purchase in Minecraft, but I am looking forward to doing it. It's supposed to be coming out in a few weeks, so um, if any of you guys have any tips or anything like that I should know about Minecraft before jumping in it when, when, it, when the um, VR version hits, uh, go ahead and leave me a comment. I want you guys, uh, that's why the only reason why I'm even putting it in this video is because I want people to start um, letting me know what I should, you know, probably do or anything like that. Any servers I might want to jump on. Um, I'm going to be a total newbie, you know what I mean? Uh, some of the guys on, on here have helped me out with um, Elite Dangerous. So, you know what I mean? And now I'm grow slowly growing in that game and I'm having a ton of fun. You know, running trade routes and all that stuff. So, um, you know, Minecraft is going to be the next game. So you guys go ahead and shoot me some info over there with that. Um, but it's going to be official. And, and, and that's a very big deal. It's a very big deal for um, two reasons. It's, it's, it's from Microsoft. That's a huge company putting one of their huge... Um, product out on VR. I think um, if we want these big companies to take notice, what we have to do is, is first of all, promote the hell out of it, and second of all, support it. And so um, I'm pretty sure Vibe is probably going to get a copy at some point, but if you own an Oculus, I say go out and get the um, Minecraft VR when it drops. Uh, because we don't want these companies to start thinking of ways to get out of VR before they actually jump in. So Minecraft could be Microsoft's first way of jumping into VR and might see how it all plays out. So if they see high numbers in their, in their little um, data collection thing of people playing Minecraft in VR, when Scorpio comes out, then they might pump a lot more money going into it. And another reason why I think this is a very big deal is because you're going to have people in VR and people out of VR playing together. Okay? Now, I know you guys are like, what? Why is that a big deal? Because if I'm running around playing with someone and they're like, oh, you know, and I'm like, oh my God, that looks amazing. And they're like, what do you mean? It looks average. Like, no, no, dude, I'm in VR. This looks freaking amazing. Then that's going to start making them be like what you were in vr and want to know more about it and if your friends already know you in vr they're going to want to um ask you as much stuff as they possibly can while you're in it you know because I mean? you, you can walk into a room look it up you you can size it up you could be you can now become the architect you know what i mean that's that's what i'm thinking of so all the people that plays it will probably be loving it right now as you can see my male here is losing his mind. So I'm going to end this video right now. Go pay some attention to him before he drives me crazy. Okay. Bye-bye, people.